A new eruption began at the summit of Kilauea Volcano within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park early Monday morning. Currently, all activity is confined to the summit caldera. Scientists say the eruption has stabilized within the crater and there are no immediate threats to infrastructure. A plume of volcanic gas can be seen, blowing downwind to the southwest. No unusual activity has been noted along the east or southwest rift zones. The USGS alert level for the volcano was raised to warning, then down to watch, and the aviation color code was raised to red, then settled at orange. Webcam images show the new eruption commence at 2.20 in the morning. The main eruptive vent, with lava fountains as high as 295 feet or 90 meters, is generating flows that quickly cover the crater floor. Lava has already covered more than 500 acres of the caldera. The plume of volcanic gas is reaching elevations estimated at 6 to 8,000 feet above sea level. Scientists have been unable to directly measure the sulfur dioxide rate of the eruption, but the output may be averaging on the order of 50,000 to 100,000 tons per day. The onset of the new eruption came suddenly. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory scientist in charge, Ken Han, explained in an early morning live stream. And the onset of this was very rapid. We had kind of normal background activity through most of the night. At about 1.30, the seismicity really picked up this morning. And by 2 a.m., we could see that we were measuring seismicity related to a crack that was opening, being forced open by magma as it moved towards the surface. Uh, beneath Halima'uma'u. So, and at 2.20, we saw a glow on the webcams and lava had made the surface. So it, it happened relatively quickly. This is one of the shorter lead times that we've had to an eruption up here. And all of these near the summit, the lead time is very short because the magma chamber is only one to two kilometers beneath the surface. So less than a mile below the surface of the volcano. And it doesn't take very long for those cracks to propagate and open up to the surface and let magma out. This ongoing eruption at the summit of Kilauea is the sixth eruption within the caldera since 2020. Scientists say these eruptions in the summit region have lasted for about a week to more than a year in duration. If you are on Hawaii Island and plan to visit the park to see the eruption, the National Park Service says you can expect to encounter crowded overlooks, full parking lots, and busy roads. Park rangers urge all visitors to plan ahead.